Heavenly Father, once again, as we have gathered in this place, let your spirit work in us, work through us. Lord, may your presence, oh God, be made manifest on this prayer altar. May your perfect will be done, oh God. May we do what you want us to do. May we do exactly, Lord, what you have decreed for us to do. May our lives reveal your glory. May our lives reveal your truth. May our lives reveal your will for our lives. Anything in us, Father, that is not of you, we renounce it right now this morning. And we come by the blood of Jesus. We are asking this morning, as we have gathered in this place, let your spirit work in us. May you do only one what you can do. May your perfect will be done in our lives. We surrender ourselves to you, mighty God. We surrender to King Jesus, the head of the church. We surrender to the spirit of truth, the spirit of might, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of counsel, the spirit of the fear of the Lord, the spirit of the Lord. Yes, we surrender to the spirit of knowledge. Have your way, Holy Spirit, as we've gathered in this place. Work through every one of us, Holy Spirit. May each and every one of us become a channel of your greatness, a channel of your presence, a channel of your truth, a channel of your goodness. In the mighty name of Jesus, may our lives, oh God, reveal your glory, reveal your truth, reveal your power. Yes, God, everything about us, may it be pleasing to you this morning. Whatever we do, Lord, on this Oh, prayer altar, Father, may it be pleasing to you. May our lives bring you glory in the mighty name of Jesus. We come once again by the blood. We come by the blood of the everlasting covenant. We are asking the blood to speak for us once again. Let the blood cleanse us. Let the blood wash us. Let the blood purify us. Let the blood perfect everything that concerns us. Anything in us that is contrary to the will of God. Lord, we repent of it and we pray that you would wash us, that you would cleanse us, uh, that you would renew a right spirit in us. Uh that everything about us, oh God, uh, reveal your truth, uh, reveal your power in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Father, we are grateful this morning uh, to be a part of your kingdom. Uh, we are grateful this morning uh, to be your children. Uh, oh, we are grateful this morning. Uh, oh, we thank you, mighty God, uh, for who, oh God, can stand in your presence. Uh, you are the King of glory. You are the Lord of lords. Uh, you are the great and mighty one. Uh, you are the one who is able to do uh, what no man can do. Uh, Oh, we thank you, Jesus. We exalt your name this morning. We magnify your name this morning. We reverence your name this morning. We thank you. We bless you. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in the mountain of his holiness. You are beautiful for all situations. You are the joy of the whole earth. We thank you upon Mount Zion. For Lord, uh, you have shown us your mercy. You have shown us your goodness. Uh, you have shown us your truth. Uh, you have shown us, oh God, uh, your loving kindness. Uh, and so the ones you love uh, have gathered to thank you. The ones you've died for have gathered to honor you. We have gathered to bless your name. Uh, the one who is highly lifted up. Uh, we have gathered to thank you. The one who is great and greatly to be praised. Uh, we have gathered to honor you, King of glory. How excellent is your name, oh God. Uh, how marvelous is your name. How glorious is your name. How wonderful is your name. Take all the glory, Lord. Take all the honor, adoration. Take all the worship. We thank you. We bless you. Oh, be exalted, King of Kings. Be exalted, the great I am that I am. Be exalted, the first and the last. We thank you and we give you praise. The Bible says in Lamentations 3 from verse 21, but this I recall to mind. Therefore, I have hope. It is because of the Lord's loving kindness and mercies that we are not consumed because his tender compassion passions, they fail not. They never fail. They are new every morning. Great and beyond measure is your faithfulness. Father, we want to thank you this morning uh, that we have not been consumed uh, because of your loving kindness. We are here. Satan could not kill any one of us overnight uh, because of your loving kindness. Uh, we are alive this morning uh, because of your loving kindness. Uh, we are, we have been sustained uh, because of your mercies, oh God. Uh, 
that are new every morning. Thank you because your compassions never fail. Here we are revealing your compassion. Here we are revealing your goodness in the name of Jesus. They, your mercies are new every morning. Great and beyond measure is your faithfulness. Thank you for being faithful to us. Thank you for being kind to us. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for declaring us as your children. Thank you for declaring us as your beloved. Thank you, mighty Father. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be exalted. You are worthy to be magnified. You are worthy to be lifted on high. We are grateful this morning. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Adonai. Thank you, the King of Kings. Worthy is your name. We've come to worship you this morning because, Lord, you are the only one who can do in our lives what no man can do. Be exalted this morning, King of Kings. Be exalted, the Ancient of Days. Be exalted, the Great and Mighty One. Only you, Jesus, can do what no man can do in our lives. Thank you for your supernatural power. Thank you for your power that is great, that can do wonders in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we are grateful this morning. We honor you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Even as we honor God this morning, the Bible tells us in the book of Daniel, Daniel chapter 10, after Daniel had been praying for that three weeks and waiting upon God, the Bible says that an angel of God was sent to Daniel. And when the angel got to him, the angel said to him, you know, do not be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Your words have been heard and I have come in response to your words. That is Daniel 10 verse 12. This tells us that when we are praying, we are not supposed to be afraid because every word we speak in the place of prayer, it reaches the ears of God. And these prayers we pray, they are able to trigger angelic visitation. So I want us to thank God this morning, even as we are worshiping him, you know, I want you to be confident and say in the name of Jesus, I rebuke any fear, any doubt, any anxiety, any worry, anything that would cause me to think less than the fact that God has answered my prayers and is about to even do more today. Because before even I pray, he has already heard my prayers prayer and he's already doing it and he's already released his angels as you are worshiping God I want you to be convinced and rebuke fear and instead declare that I know even the angels of God are here attending to my prayer time because our God is faithful that we worship you the God and father who is the the commander in chief of the angel armies thank you that you're listening to our words and your angels have come in response to our prayers you are welcome angels of god Baba helele bozi andala bakuna ni nana na mozi andere baba baba rali la nuna ni na mozi ntelele baba baba re mama mama sina ni na makosa na la la mo masekele balu handele baria baba baba we bless your name. We worship you, O God. We join the songs of the angels and we worship the one who was and is and is to come. We join the song of the angels and we honor the great and mighty God, the one who is great and greatly to be praised. Thank you, Jehovah, you've overcome. Jehovah, you've overcome. The lion of the tribe of Judah has overcome. The lamb of God has overcome. The one who died in our places overcome overcome death and destruction we thank you this morning we honor you this morning we exalt your name this morning thank you mighty God thank you King Jesus thank you Lord Holy Spirit thank you the angelic beings thank you the, the church of the firstborn in heaven and the cloud of witnesses we thank the festal gathering upon Mount Zion this morning that we can be partakers of the realms of the supernatural. Father, we just thank you this morning. Lord, we worship you, that we don't worship you in isolation. Every time we worship, we are joined by the angelic beings, by the heavenly beings, by the men in white linen. We don't worship alone, but Lord God Almighty, we are in your presence. We are in your presence, and all the beings on Mount Zion, be exalted, be exalted, be exalted, be lifted on high. Be exalted, be magnified. We thank you, Lord. We worship you. Glory, honor, power to the Lamb who reigns forever. We thank you, Jesus. 
We thank you, Lord. We thank you. We bless you. Oh, how grateful we are. We are grateful this morning. We are grateful. We are grateful. Hallelujah to the King of Kings. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. The, John the Revelator shared with us in the book of Revelation chapter 4 that he looked and behold a door was standing open in heaven. A door was standing open in heaven. And then he heard the first voice which he had heard like the sound of a war trumpet speaking with him and saying, "Come up here and I will show you what you must Sorry, I will show you what must take place after these things. A door was standing open in heaven. The door is still open now. We don't need to pray from the earth realm. We pray from Mount Zion. We pray from the heavenly realms for we have been raised together with Christ Jesus and made to sit with him in heavenly places at the right hand of the father. I want you to begin to speak the word of God this morning and say, Father, Lord, I thank you that there is a door open in the realm of the spirit and I access the heavenly realms this morning in the mighty name of Jesus my spirit my soul cannot pray from the earth realm but I access the door that has been opened in the heavenlies when I read the book of John 10 Jesus said I am the door I am the door of the sheep whoever goes in through me will go in and find pasture and find eternal life. I enter through the door that is Jesus into the heavenly realms. I refuse to pray from the perspective of the earth realm, but I pray from the heavenlies, from the highest heavens, far above all principality and power and every name that is in, that is named both in this world and the world to come. I enter through the door, the door that has been opened. I enter through the portal that Jesus has opened and I pray from the heavenly realms. In the mighty name of Jesus, let every man, every woman, every child, every young person represented on this prayer altar enter the realms of the heavenlies. In the mighty name of Jesus, Maria Handerebo Suandere Bakura Basanda, Marida Debo Setendere Bashaya. But the Lord says, Come up here, come up here, Lika Sutendele Basanda. We sit ourselves in Christ Jesus, Oria Babasika Talaba, for we've been raised up by Father God to sit in Christ. Jesus in heavenly realms. The Lord says, come up here so that I can show you what you have not known before. Come up here. Father, translate each and every one of us to the realms of your glory in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, we honor you this morning, oh God. We thank you. We bless you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. As we are in our heavenly realms uh, this morning, once again, let's put on the full armor of God because the Bible says we are not wrestling flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, rulers of darkness and the spiritual wickedness in high places. Uh, let's begin to take the full armor once again and say, I am standing this morning with the belt of truth. Uh, my loins are girt about with the belt of truth. Uh, I put on the belt of truth this morning. Uh, I stand firm and I hold my ground. Uh, I tighten the uh, the wide band of truth upon myself uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I have strength. I have courage. Uh, no fear in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh, la bradasia. Like they say in West Africa, no shaking. Uh, we stand our ground uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Father, we put on the breastplate of righteousness. Uh, we are upright because Jesus has made us upright. By the blood of the everlasting covenant, we are upright. We are upright in heart. We are upright in spirit uh, because Jesus has given us his righteousness. The blood of Jesus testifies this morning uh, that we have been cleansed and redeemed and washed. Uh, yes, we put on the breastplate of righteousness. Uh, no arrow can hit us in the heart. Uh, no arrows of the enemy can reach us. Uh, we are covered with the breastplate of righteousness. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, our feet are 
are covered by the preparation of the gospel of peace. We are firm footed. We have stability and we have the readiness produced by the good news. When we face the enemy, we face him firm footed. Our feet are covered by the preparation of the gospel of peace in the mighty name of Jesus. Nobody here can walk barefooted in the realm of the spirit. We are covered. Our feet are covered in the name of Jesus. No harm can come to our feet. Our feet are covered and blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we take up the protective shield of faith uh, and we use it to extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Ah oh Lord, whatever other arrows this morning, we extinguish them. Uh, arrows of confusion, uh, arrows of sickness, uh, arrows of affliction, uh, arrows of pain, uh, arrows of lukewarmness, uh, arrows of spiritual coldness, uh, arrows of unbelief, uh, arrows of bitterness and resentment and hatred. Uh, we extinguish all of them uh, in the name of of Jesus, uh, arrows of envy and jealousy. Lord, we extinguish them. Whatever is the evil arrow, Lord, uh, we raise the shield of faith over our lives, uh, our families, our spouses, our children's children, our, our siblings, our parents, our grandparents, uh, our grandchildren. Uh, Lord, we raise the arrow, the, we raise the shield of faith uh, and we extinguish every strange arrow. Whatever had been shot in the night while we were sleeping. Uh, Father, we extinguish them this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we put on ourselves uh, the helmet of salvation. Uh, our head is covered. Uh, nobody can tamper with our glory. Nobody can tamper with our destinies. Uh, our children's heads are covered. Uh, our spouses' heads are covered. Uh, our family members, their heads are covered uh, by the helmet of salvation. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, we are not vulnerable. Our heads are covered. Uh, we have the mind of Christ. Uh, we think the thoughts of Christ. Uh, we think and reason like Christ. Jesus. We perceive like Christ. We discern like Christ. In the name of Jesus, we don't think thoughts of defeat, but we think the thoughts of victory. We think the thoughts of kings and priests unto our God, for that is who we are. We are the beloved of God. We do not think thoughts of rejection, for God so loved the world that he sent Jesus, his only begotten son, to die in our place that by him the world might be delivered and not condemned. So Lord, we have the mind of Christ. We we refuse to think anything that is not consistent with our greatness. We refuse to think anything that is not consistent uh, with the blessing you have blessed us with uh, in the name of Jesus. Father, we take up the sword of the spirit, which is your word. Every scripture we read, may it become the arrow that destroys the kingdom of darkness. Every scripture we read, Lord, let it destroy the works of iniquity, the workings of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you. We bless your name. To you be the glory. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen. If we combine Daniel chapter 10 with this Ephesians that the Bible has told us already that we are not wrestling flesh and blood, but principalities and powers and rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places. If we combine that with what the angel told Daniel in verse 13 of Daniel chapter 10, the angel said the prince of the kingdom of Persia was standing in opposition to me for 21 days. Then behold, Michael, one of the chief of the celestial princes came to help me for I had been left there with the kings of Persia. Now, plural. I had been left there with the kings. The prince of the kingdom of Persia stood in opposition with me. But then I had been left with the kings. So he's given us the rankings of the demonic angels. They were the princes and then they were the kings and they were all standing in opposition until angelic back backup came and the, the, the victory was won and Gabriel was able to be released. And then he said, even as he was leaving, he says, now, um, look, oh, highly regarded one, greatly beloved. Do not be afraid. Peace be to you. Take courage and be strong. Now, when he had spoken to me, I was strengthened. And then he says, do you understand fully why I came to you? Because now I shall return to fight against the hostile prince of Persia. And when I've gone, behold, the prince of Greece is about to come. So in other words, the battle wasn't over. 
The answer had come just like you and I right now. You might be in two categories. The first category might be those where the prince of Persia and whatever prince of the United Kingdom, prince of Nigeria, prince of Zimbabwe, prince of South Africa. You might be in that category where your testimony is being held up, but we're going to pray and ask for angelic backup. Or you might be in that category where the testimony has come, but these beings are still fighting because the testimony came, the word came through Gabriel, but he had to still go back and fight the prince of Persia. And he says, after the prince of Persia, I have to fight the prince of Greece. In other words, the battle was not over. I want you to pray this morning. Every delay spirit that has been hindering my testimony, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come against them in the name above all names. In the name of Jesus, every satanic power, any evil prince ruling the territory where I live, any evil evil prince uh, ruling the territory where I was born. Uh, any evil prince uh, ruling over the assignment that have been given. Uh, Lord, in the name of Jesus, uh, I come against their delay. delay uh, I come against their opposition uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, let their opposition be broken to pieces. Uh, whatever is seeking to delay the testimonies of our family members, uh, the testimonies of our children, uh, the testimonies of our spouses, uh, whatever power is standing against us uh, and seeking to delay you. We come against you in the name of Jesus. We come against you. We come against you. Raka sekele kasukara. Reke sekele gasia. Raba baba baba sia. Reke de de barigada. Reke de de barigada. Reke de de barigada. Maso kondoro boshaya. Mazuke tele barokosia. Maso kondoro bosha tala baraba. Imbrado so kondolo boro boshaya. Jeke de de breke de le bosia. Maso kondoro bosia. Maroko koko kobo ragada sia. Maseke tele barika sia. Masaka Lord, we come against the delay spirits, whatever it is that have been assigned to militate against us. Father, we stand in the power of the Lord. We stand in your glory and we come against them in the name of Jesus. We come against the delay spirits. We come against the hindering spirits. We come against the opposing demons. We come against the opposing fallen angels. We come against them in the name above all names. Loose our testimonies and let them go. Loose our good news and let it go. Loose our breakthrough and let it go. Wherever it is being held up, Father, we command a release in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen. Let's take the second prayer. Every satanic reinforcement the angel Gabriel said he had to go back and fight the prince of Persia and then fight the prince of Greece. We're going to pray that every satanic reinforcement that is coming against us to contend with us uh, and doesn't want us to enjoy our breakthrough. Uh, let the power of God come against them this morning. Let the power of God destroy uh, the satanic reinforcements. Uh, every power that doesn't want us to enjoy our blessings, uh, doesn't want our children to enjoy the blessing of the Lord, uh, doesn't want our families to enjoy the blessing of the Lord. We come against them in the name of Jesus. We come against them, oh God. Sheke le gadu sabra gadosia, ma ko rabba baba 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 baba, ma seke tele borogodosia, ma seke tele basia. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you this morning uh, that the demonic backups and reinforcements are destroyed by your fire. They are destroyed by your glory. For Lord, you are able to do what no man can do. You are more powerful than the angels. You are more powerful than the fallen angels. You are more powerful than the satanic powers. You are more powerful than the evil gatherings. Let them be scattered oh God. Oh God arise. Let your enemies be scattered. Let those who are opposing your children let them fall for our sake. In the mighty name of Jesus. We will enjoy the blessings you have given us without contention. Contend oh Lord with those who are contending with us. Contend oh Lord with those who are wrestling our blessings from us. In the precious precious name of the Lord Jesus. We thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. In Daniel 11, 
verse 32. I'll read the second part of it, the B part of it. In the King James, the Bible says, but the people that do know their God shall be strong and shall do exploits. In the Amplified, it says, but the people who are spiritually mature and know their God will display strength and take action to resist the works of the devil. And that's what we are doing now. Let us stand and let us display the strength of God. Let's take action in prayer to resist the enemy and his agents. We are strong and we do exploits in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, by your grace this morning, we are standing. We declare we have strength because you say those that wait upon you shall be strong. They will mount up with wings like eagles. Oh Lord, they will soar. They will run and not be weary. They will never be tired. They will never break down. Those who wait upon you, Lord, they shall be strong. They shall be strong. They will do exploits. Father, this morning, we are doing exploits in your name. We are strong. We display strength. We are strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. We take action this place of prayer and we resist the devil and his agents. We resist the works of darkness. We resist. We refuse to accept anything that is not acceptable. We refuse to accept it. What Satan wants us to accept that is not acceptable. We refuse to accept it. We resist. We resist. We resist. Oh God. De barrigada, we resist. Eleka to la barroco dosia, Macoro robosia and la bosia, Macuse freke de le bosia. We resist. We refuse to accept. Maleke seke tele bosia, Macuria bashanda la borobosia, Macura baseke tele borroco dosia. In the mighty name of Jesus, we refuse to be held down. We refuse to be limited. We resist. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. The Bible is clear that whoever is tired of the works of the devil gets deliverance. Whoever is tired of oppression gets deliverance. It is when we refuse to accept it that we will get our deliverance. When Remember the story of Esau and Jacob. When Jacob had taken the blessing that Esau was expecting for himself, and he began to cry to his father and say, Father, is there nothing left for me? In Genesis 27, 40. The Bible says, when we read it in the New Living Translation, the father told him and said, you will live by your sword and you will serve your brother. But when you decide to break free, you will shake his yoke from your neck. When you decide to break free, you will shake his yoke from your neck. Maybe up to now, we've tolerated Satan in one way or the other. Maybe there's something that is not right, but you've been tolerating it. Right now, if you decide to break free, you will break free. You will break free from that yoke. Let's lift up our voices and say, I decide to be free indeed. In the name of Jesus, whatever it is that wants to reduce my testimony, that wants me to live as if Jesus never died and rose again, I break free from you. In the name of Jesus, I refuse to tolerate the unacceptable. I refuse to tolerate it. In the name of Jesus, whatever is not of God in my life, whatever doesn't display the glory of God, I refuse to accept it. I refuse to tolerate it. I decide this morning to be free from every satanic oppression, any limitation, anything that is trying to limit me spiritually, physically, financially, health-wise. Oh Lord, in my prophetic in the ministry, in every dimension, whatever tries to limit me, I decide to be free this morning. I refuse to accept the unacceptable. Any evil situation that Satan wants us to accept, we refuse to accept it. We refuse it. We refuse it. We refuse oppression. We refuse oppression. We refuse abuse. We refuse maltreatment. We refuse anything that God has not ordained for us. We we refuse it. We refuse sickness. We refuse it. We refuse premature death. We refuse luck. We refuse lack. Ah, we refuse it. We refuse it. Any lack. Any lack. Ah, we refuse. Oh, rabababa seketelebosia. Any frustration. We refuse you. We break free from you. 
We break free from frustration. We break free in the mighty name of Jesus. Regado sovra dada balegadosia. Maseke teleborogodosia. Ragado sokoroboshaya. Mazuvra dada balegada. Uriababa sotondolobosia. In the mighty name of Jesus. We refuse to accept what is not acceptable. Let the yoke be broken. For the yoke shall be broken by reason of the anointing. Let the anointing of the Holy Ghost break every limitation. Break every yoke. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jeremiah 33 verses 2 and 3, Jeremiah 33 verses 2 and 3, I'm reading Amplified. Bible says, thus says the Lord, capitalized Lord, which means Yahweh, Yod, He, Vav, He, the self-existent God whom nobody created. Thus says the Lord who made the earth, Yahweh who formed it to establish it. Yahweh is his name. He said, call to me and I will answer you and tell you and even show you great and mighty things, things which have not been confined. Sorry, things which have been confined and hidden things which you do not know and understand and cannot distinguish. Call unto me and I will show you those great and mighty things. You know, child of God, sometimes it's impossible to pray for the next level if you don't know what the next level looks like. Before God could bless Abraham, he told him to walk the length and breadth of the, of the land. And he says, as far as your eyes can see, I'm going to give it you. If you can't even see the next level, all you can see is the problem. All you can see is the dust. You become like the slaves in Egypt. They cannot, they could not imagine what freedom looked like. And so they just carried on being slaves. But this morning we want to call on the Lord, Yahweh, the self-existent God, Elohim, who created the heavens and the earth. Call to him. He says, I will answer you and tell you and show you great and mighty things. Let's ask him, Lord, show me the great and mighty things pertaining to my destiny. Show me the great and mighty things uh, pertaining to my family, pertaining to my spouse, concerning my children. Show me the great and mighty things. Uh, show me the next level, oh God. Uh, show me what you've planned for us, oh God. Uh, show us that next level that we have not been able to see, that Satan has been trying to oppose. Uh, Father, show us that next level. We call unto you this morning, uh, for you said you will answer us. Uh, you are the one who made the earth and the heavens. Uh, you created everything, oh God. Uh, your power is immense. Your power is immense. Lord, reveal to us. Show us the great and mighty things. Show us the next level, oh God. Give us revelation in our spiritual lives. Show us the next level. Lord, in our relationship with you, show us the next level. Oh God, in our service to you, show us the next level. Give us that revelation, oh God. Father, in our families, uh, the next level that you have of promotion, uh, Lord, reveal to each and every one of us. Uh, show us, oh God, uh, the great and mighty things you have planned for us uh, so that we can begin to walk in the vision. Uh, you said, Lord, uh, write the vision. Uh, make it plain upon the tablets uh, so that who reads it will be able to run with it. Uh, Lord, show us. Uh, reveal the vision to us. Uh, show us the great and mighty things uh, in the various ministries we represent. Uh, Lord, reveal the great and mighty things uh, in the various jobs and professions uh, that we have. Uh, Lord, show us the great and mighty things in these jobs. Uh, show us the great and mighty things uh, in our businesses. Uh, whatever else, Lord, uh, reveal. Uh, reveal to us, oh God, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen. The next thing we want to ask God to show us what has been confined and hidden, what we didn't know and understand, may God reveal. You know, sometimes there are secrets that when they are revealed, you get breakthrough automatically because you know how to deal with it. The secret is open. For a long time, you thought something different, but when God reveals uh, and you now see what is hidden, what has been going on, you are able to address it and immediately the breakthrough comes. Uh, let's call unto the Lord uh, and say, Lord, uh, in my family, in my house, Holder in the ministry that I represent, in the jobs I'm in, in the businesses. Lord, show me the hidden things. Show me those things that have been hidden and confined. The things that I don't know. Reveal to me, Lord, what I need to know about my family. What I need to know about Lord Jehovah, the things of the kingdom of heaven. What I need to know about the kingdom of darkness. Lord, reveal to me those secret things that have been confined. Because the Bible said the secret things belong unto God, but the things that are revealed belong to 
to us and our children forever. In other words, uh, the revelation becomes our heritage. Uh, the revelation becomes the inheritance uh, because once it's revealed, uh, we can share it widely. Once it's revealed, uh, we share with our children and our children's children and it becomes our inheritance forever. Lord, reveal to us uh, whatever's been hidden uh, that we need to know uh, right now, uh, right here for such a time as this. Uh, Lord, reveal to us in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for revealing your secrets, revealing the secrets that have been hidden and confined uh, in our families, in our nations, uh, in our jobs, in every area of our lives. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Finally, as we begin to round up this morning, I just want us to close with Isaiah 37 from verse 31. The Bible says the surviving remnant of the house of Judah will again take root downward and bear fruit upward. We're going to pray for ourselves. We are the remnant of God in this end time. You're going to ask God, Father, as I come out of this prayer line and everything I'm going to do in the days and the weeks to come, cause me to take root downward and bear fruit upward. When I, when I have my roots firmly planted, nothing can move me. Nothing can uproot me. Nothing can destroy me. And let me bear fruit upward. Let there be a fruit uh, out of my Christianity. Let there be a fruit uh, out of my relationship with God. Uh, let there be a fruit uh, out of the prayers I've prayed. Uh, let me bear fruit upward. Uh, Lord, cause us to take root downward. Uh, each one and every one of us, uh, every family represented here, may we take root downward. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, may we be firmly planted, uh, be unshakable, immovable, abounding in the work of the Lord. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Satan will not be able to tamper with any of us. Uh, and may our fruit be evident. Uh, may there be a manifestation of your glory in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. And then the Lord warned the king of Assyria. The king of Assyria for us here is representing the satanic powers and every enemy. He said to them, you will not come into this city or shoot an arrow there or come before it with shield or raise an assault ramp against it by the way you came the same way you will return you will not come into this city declares the lord for i will defend this city to save it for my own sake and for the sake of my servant david let's declare it this morning satan and his agents they cannot come into our city wherever you are this morning wherever you are going this morning your workplace your work officer that the school the children are attending the nursery where they are going going at oh, all the university where our children are satan we rebuke you in the name of jesus you will not come here you will not shoot an arrow here you cannot come against us uh, with any weapon uh, you cannot raise a siege against us uh, by the way you came the same way you will return uh, go in the name of jesus uh, you will not come here whatever you are spirit of death uh, spirit of failure spirit of poverty spirit of confusion spirit of shame uh, spirit of demotion uh, you cannot stay here the same way you came uh, the same way you're going back uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, they are not permitted here. The Lord is defending us uh, to save us uh, for his name's sake. Uh, the Lord defends us. Uh, his glory is around us. Uh, his presence is around us. Uh, his power is around us. Uh, which way the enemy came, uh, he's returning the same way. Which way the demons came, uh, they are returning the same way. Uh, whatever the powers of darkness has sent to us, uh, it's going the same way they came. About turn, demons, uh, go back to where you came from. Uh, every arrow sent from any evil altar while we are sleeping uh, we say about turn uh, return to your sender sevenfold uh, in the mighty name of Jesus uh, whatever had been proclaimed against us uh, evil pronouncements uh, evil decrees uh, evil declarations uh, incantations uh, fetish acts uh, rituals uh, hexes and vexes and hoaxes uh, return back to the heads of your senders uh, in the mighty name of Jesus uh, you cannot come here you cannot come here you're not welcome in our midst uh, in the mighty name of Jesus in Jesus mighty name we pray amen Finally, in verse 36, the angel of the Lord went out and killed 185,000 in the camp of the Assyrians. We are not asking anybody, any human to die, but we are asking the warring angels to go ahead of us.
In the name of Jesus, as we go out of this prayer line, may the angels of God, the warring angels, the deliverance angels, the angels of the winds of change, let them begin to minister on our behalf. Wherever there is still a battle raging against us, let the angels be released. In the mighty name of Jesus, with angelic strength, angels of God, oh, go on our behalf this morning. Warring angels, begin to fight the battle. Wherever there are still battles against us, wherever the enemy is trying to come again. Uh, angels of God, uh, begin to shut down that battle. Father, let the angels be assigned uh, all around us, uh, all around our children, uh, all around our families. Uh, angels of God, uh, contend with the enemy. Whoever had been plotting against us, uh, let them be like Seneca Reba. Let them be destroyed like Seneca Reba. Whoever is plotting against us, uh, they will be like Seneca Reba, in the name of Jesus, uh, evil altars uh, raised against us, uh, let the destruction come upon them, in the precious name of the Lord Jesus, Father we thank you for victory, we thank you for deliverance uh, we cover every prayer in the blood of Jesus, uh, and we are expectant uh, we will see the goodness of the Lord uh, in the land of the living, in Jesus mighty name we pray, amen and amen